This morning's coffee with us with Alex Rowe and Jessica Raw. And the satellite interview is furnished by Roadside Attractions. Alex, Jessica, welcome to WJZ. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, we're doing fine. So, bottom line is, you leave her at the altar, go become a star, and come back. And ergo, here, here is our story. With a daughter. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's where we. That's, <laughs> that's the beginning of it for sure. Yeah. Um, and yeah, how could I? How could I? Um, but yeah, I massively regret oh, it. Uh, I listen to a voicemail that she's left me every single day. Um, and yeah, I think I've run away from a lot of my problems and kind of got swallowed into this whole this whole tornado that is uh, that his fame. And uh, I return home and I find out that I've got an eight-year-old daughter to the love of my life that I left that I left behind, uh, yeah, and uh, there's, a, there's a real kind of story of redemption, a story of forgiveness, and a, a family kind of a feel to the, to, the, to the whole thing. I think it's a really feel-good movie. But, Jessica, um, are you familiar we'll with you Blake? cry a little bit and laugh a little bit. Got it. And uh, ultimately feel pretty good at the end. Yeah, feel all those feelings. Jessica, mm. do you, are you familiar with Blake Shelton's song, uh, Houston? where she leaves him and he keeps listening to the voicemail message. I've never heard that song before, oh, yeah. you? I'm sure it's Houston. It's they hid that one from me. <laughs> uh, but so that's, uh, yeah, they, yeah, that's really interesting. So there's a bit, so, so Blake it's, it's Blake a it's a, country, it's, it's a country song, country life. Mm. Mm. Blake, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm looking uh, up yeah, right now. I know the Blake Shelton song, uh, Hello. We're here. Yeah. Alex, you play this country music superstar and you do a very convincing southern accent. Thank you. That that means a lot that you say that. Um, I yeah, I am I'm English. I've never sung before, so uh, yeah, it was a really it was a it was a real challenge, but I listened to a lot of different country artists both being interviewed and them singing and we tried to develop a the sound of some sort for Liam. And uh, kind of in the process of doing that, I think it was good to, to help get into the character. Um, but yeah, so much of the story kind of rests on the, uh, on the, the connection that uh, Josie and, uh, and Liam have, and also with our little daughter, Billy. Yeah. And I think that there's kind of quite a, a beautiful family, family group there. Well, you know, the, eventually. I'm from Kentucky and a southern accent. My wife's from Tennessee is classified as a, as a derivation of Scots-Irish. Hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good knowledge. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, so I think uh, a southern accent is kind of quite easy, like quite easy for a Scottish person to do, I think, and also quite easy for, uh, for Australians to do. I think that the English accent, the London accent, is a little more similar to a Boston kind of sound. But um, yeah, yeah, there's definitely, yeah, we, we go way back, yeah. us guys. Well, and the thing that's so amazing about doing any kind of accent, but especially a southern accent, is I feel like southern accents hold the essence of what it is to be from the south. There is that beautiful tone, it's long, it's, it, you take your time with things, and I think that that's something that we learned and that really exists within the film. Yeah. We've got about 10 seconds left. Leave us with the southern accent. We hope we, Both we, of you. we, we hope that y'all have a great run with this movie. Notice I threw a y'all in. And best of luck in the future. Uh, all right, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Uh, yeah, thanks for having us. You got it, man. Have a good one. Forever, my girl. Yep. I'm sitting here. I'm sure it was Blake Shelton. So the song is pretty similar to the plot of the Ex movie. Exactly correct. She leaves him. At the altar? Kind of close to it, and they get back she, together. She eventually leaves him a voicemail. He it, to yeah, it. It, yeah. Well, we're gonna take a break. I'm, You're gonna find it. If it's not Blake Shelton, it's somebody. Oh gosh, well, you get, this thing goes back 30, 32 years. Oh, okay.